In the previous week, we have looked at the small world phenomenon. This week, we are starting off with a programming screencast based on small world phenomenon and then we will take up another concept. So first, starting off with the programming screencast of small world phenomenon, we are going to do two things there. First of all, we are going to look at how do we make a small world network. So I'm sure all of you remember how do we make a small world network. I'll quickly recap it. And secondly, we'll do how do one do uh, how do one does a myopic search on this network? How do one does a decentralized search on this network? So before starting off with the programming screencast, I'll quickly recap both of these concepts. How do we make a small world network? And how do we do a myopic search on it? Okay, now lo let's look at the first one. So the first one was, you want to look at how do we code, how do we make a small world network. So making a small world network, making a small world network. So here, let's talk about the model which we have looked in the lecture. So you will remember how do we model it in two dimensional, in a two dimensional space, we have certain nodes here. So let's put some nodes here. So let's say I... Uh, put some 16 nodes over here. So I have some 16 nodes over here and then we have looked at how do we make the connections between these two nodes. So connections between these two nodes were based on two concepts. The first one was homophily. So in homophily what we have done is every node was connected to the nodes which are geographically closer to it. So for example this node here it can be connected to this node geographically closer, this node, this node and this node. So one on its toe, bottom, right and left. And similarly for all of these nodes we can do the same thing. And all of these links are made because of homophily. So we, we get a grid something like this. And what even we can do next is we can even connect these nodes to their diagonally opposite partners because they are also geographically closer. So we can make a grid like this as well. So the grid which we had previously, uh, this one is also correct and this one is also correct where we link the diagonally opposite nodes as well. So all these links are because of homophily and then we have looked at what makes this world small is the presence of weak ties. So the second reason, uh, the second concept which gave rise to the small world networks was weak ties where every node, for example, this node will be randomly connected to some of the node which is quite far away from this. So this node might be connected to somebody here. This node might be connected to somebody here. This node might be connected to somebody here. So these weak ties, they make our world small. So this was how uh, we can portray a ward stroget's model in two dimensions. And rather than we looked at, we can portray uh, uh, the same small world network with the model which Watts Strogetz gave in one dimension, which is rather more interesting. So in one dimension, we can assume that the nodes in the network, they are in the form of a ring. So here we have some nodes in this network. So these are the nodes. And again, we have certain connections because of homophily. So because of homophily, the nodes are connected to other nodes which are geographically closer to them. So we can take, let's say, one on the right hand side and another on the left hand side. Or rather, we can take two on the right hand side and two on the left hand side. And again, this node here is connected to two on the right hand side and two on the left hand side. And similarly, all the nodes connected to two on the right hand side and two on the left hand side. So uh, let me make these connections quickly. So something like this. Every node is connected to two nodes on its left side and two nodes on its right side. So let's say something like this uh, and so on. So these are the uh, ties which exist because of homophily and again to make this world small we should have some what long range ties, weak ties. So what we have looked previously in the chapter in the previous week was the concept of rewiring. Was the concept of rewiring. What we did in rewiring was we deleted off some of the edges from here. So let's say 
this edge can be deleted and instead of this edge we randomly put an edge somewhere else in the network similarly this edge can be deleted and we can randomly put an edge at some other place in the network and so on i make a for our coding for our programming screencast i make a small change here and the change which i am doing here is instead of rewiring so uh, by the basic model which what strogets has given it is actually rewiring where what you do it consists of two steps so the uh, so the first step is first of all you delete an edge from the network you delete a random edge from the network and second you add a random edge in the network so delete one edge and add one edge but for our programming screencast i'm doing a small change to this what i'm going to do is instead of this rewiring uh, so here uh, instead of this rewiring what am i going to do is I do not rewire the edges here rather like in the previous model how did we see I am just simply going to add some long range contacts and it will not make uh, as you will see it will not make much change to the number of edges as you will see just on the addition of two edges we will have reduced the diameter of this network so, so let me elaborate it what I want to say. Uh, what we are interested in is looking at the diameter of the network. Let's say we have this network somewhat like this. And here can you tell me what is the diameter of this network. So assume that how many nodes are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Say 12 nodes are here. So when there are 12 nodes we can see that the diameter of this network is 6. Or not 6 actually. It's uh, going to be a little bit less than 6. So let's say from these are the two nodes which are at the maximum distance so the diameter will be 1 2 and 3 right so the diameter of this network is 3 and what will happen when you are go actually going to rewire some edges so let's say you rewire this edge and you put an edge here and then you delete this edge and you put an edge here it will what what it will do it will reduce your diameter so now if you want to arrive from this node to let's say this node the distance instead of 3 is just 2 so you can jump from this node to here and you can come from here so the diameter is reduced to 2 so more rewiring you do the diameter decreases accordingly what is our aim our aim is to look at if I plot a uh, so if I plot a graph let's say I plot a graph and on the x-axis I have the number of rewired edges. So I rewire one edge, I can rewire two edge and so on. Here are my number of rewired edges and on the y-axis I have the diameter. How will this plot look like? So initially we know, let's say instead of um, uh, 12, let's say our network consisted of some 100 nodes and what will its diameter be? Its diameter let's say was something like 30. So Initially, the diameter of my network was 30. So, here when I have zero number of rewired edges, here when I have zero number of rewired edges, the diameter of my network was 30. And then I rewire one edge. And when I rewire one edge, what will happen? My diameter will reduce, maybe somewhat here. And then I rewire another edge and then again my diameter can reduce and again I rewire my diameter can reduce. How will this curve look like? We want to study. So as we do more and more rewiring of edges, how does the diameter of our network reduce is what we aim at uh, is what we aim at studying. And while doing this, as I discussed, we make a small difference to our network over here. And what is the difference is instead of deleting an edge here and adding an edge here, we remove this step of deletion and we just add some rewired edges. And as you will see, the number of edges will not change much. So, you will see that on just the addition of, let's say, two or three edges, on just the addition of two or three edges, the diameter will go down drastically. And hence, uh, this, uh, whether you do rewiring or whether you do simply addition of an edge, these two are not, uh, these two are not very uh, different concepts. The number of edges in the final network is actually going to be 
almost the same so let's say that you take a very big network on let's say uh, some millions of nodes and billions of edges and on this network having billions of edges whether you rewire when you rewire two edges so the number of edges will remain 1 billion only according to the rewiring principle the number of edges will remain 1 billion only but if you add two edges the number of uh, edges will be 1 billion plus 2 1 billion and 2 which are almost the same so here is a little change that we make to this uh, network to this uh, framework of building your small world network so we have this ring network and on this ring network every node is connected to one node on the left side uh, sorry two nodes on the left side and two nodes on the right side and so on so every node is following the same principle and at the end what we are going to do is we will add some extra edges there and we look at as we add these extra edges over here how does the diameter of this network reduce and I hope you remember what is the diameter of a network. Diameter of a network is nothing but the longest shortest distance. Longest shortest distance. So you take every possible pair of nodes in the network. You find the distance between them. Distance between them. So let's say there are some four nodes in this network. So you take one, two, one, three and then one, four and then you can take two, three. 2, 4 and then you have 3, 4 and you look at their distance, right? The shortest distance between these two nodes and the maximum over here is your diameter. So we have discussed it previously. I will not go into the details of this. So overall, the first part of this programming screencast is going to deal with when we make a small world network as we increase the number of uh, extra edges, as we increase the number of weak ties, or the short range uh, or the long range contacts how is this diameter going to reduce